We begin this noon with breaking news. Police say a carjacking has turned deadly in Newark. Some of the suspects apparently barricaded themselves inside a home in a standoff with police. CBS News' Christine Sloan is live in Newark with the details for us. Christine. An extraordinary morning of violence in the city of Newark. All committed investigators say by six young suspects. Now take a look behind me. Two of those suspects barricaded themselves inside a building on West Runyon. And just within the last 30 minutes, as you can see from Chopper 2, those two suspects taken into custody after the SWAT team and police surround the building. Their hands up. They get on the ground. This dramatic event after these two suspects, police say, and four others went on a morning crime scene. First, carjacking a silver Jaguar. We know that a victim was shot, not sure what the condition or at what crime scene, because police say the suspects committed a number of felonies and robberies. Now, one of the suspects, we have been told by police, is dead during a police pursuit, and the five others all in custody. Subsequent to that, they received other calls regarding other uh, incidents involving that same car. It was a police pursuit. After that, uh, police are reporting that it appeared that during the pursuit that the individual jumped out of the car while the car was moving. What plan do you have, Director, to combat the well, crime? Well, that's it. We put that plan out there already. I told you we had 115 police officers out here, and as a result of that, that's why we were able to make an apprehension today. Now, back at the scene, a dramatic event. A woman appears to be running away from the building. Again, those two suspects taken into custody here at the scene, and three others were taken into custody during that police pursuit. Now, investigators tell me that they have video in those uh, police cars, and they will be reviewing it to uh, determine how police conducted themselves. We are live in Newark, New Jersey. Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News. Christine, thank you.